What's up everyone? Welcome to your 34th um, tutorial in PHP the game we're making. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to take that temporary data from the temporary table and insert it into the permanent uh, users table and also inserting the data or setting data for a couple new tables that we're going to need. So right here is our temporary variables that uh, was in the temporary table and once they click that confirmation code it took us right here and um, the last thing we did is take out the spaces in all the variables so users couldn't um, use MySQL to hack into our website so the next thing we want to do is take all of these variables name the email and the password that they entered and we want to enter them into a permanent users table so let's make a comment insert into users table and to do this, we first need an SQL and a MySQL query. So let's set a variable and name it. Let's uh, let's name it SQL2, since we already have a SQL1 up there. And um, go ahead and add quotation marks and your semicolon at the end. That's what I usually. Then we want to use MySQL to insert this into a MySQL table. So I want to put insert into users and your table might not be named users but my name is users so whatever your table name is replace it where I put users set username equal to the variable name and what this is gonna do is take whatever variable they entered right here it's gonna take all the spaces away and it's gonna put it into the mysql table table where it has the field username and you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing for all of your fields and each field is gonna be separated with a comma so set username equal to the variable name set email equal to the variable email and you keep doing this and this until you reach the end of wherever you're uh, trying to insert and once you reach the end of it you just want to go to the next line uh, I'm not going to show you guys all of this but you pretty much have a username email password if I write password it's going to be off the screen so and once you're done with all of that you need to make a result variable <laughs> now the point of a result variable is just so you can do my SQL underscore query and this says what action do you want to perform and we want to perform SQL2. In this, pretty much, this says what the action is, and this says, all right, do the action. The next thing that we're going to want to do in our game is I don't know if I told you before, but you're going to have to make two other tables one called game stats and one called character stats. The game stats table is going to have all of their uh, stats for their game and their character stats is going to have the uh, statistics and variables for the character so let me show you guys how to make uh, one of these tables called uh, let's go game stats table now once you have this permanent data you can do a bunch of different things with it uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do there we go is take this information and use it to create a table that's going to store their stats for the entire game. So let's go ahead and make another action called SQL3. And I'm going to put, just add those again. I always do that. Put insert into the table. Uh, you guys can name yours whatever you want. I named mine game stats. Set username equal to and you can uh, just set this equal to name since it's going to be the same and then um, any stats that you want say you have a field called job or something see if your character has a job um, I'm gonna have their first job equal to peasant um, let's have or say you have uh, one of their stats called money to see how much money they have in the game you can set the original variable equal to a hundred and what this is gonna do every time they make a new character it's gonna give them a starting value 
So you do, you want them to start out with some money, or maybe you don't. Maybe you want to set this to zero. But you keep doing this since my game has a username, uh, it has money, it has an army, health. Uh, you might want to set something called energy to 100. And this is going to allow you to set the first variables for each part of the game. So again, once you have this permanent data right here, this is the point I'm trying to stress. You can make any amount of tables using this data. Just make sure you have this right here. Because without this, uh, MySQL is not going to know where to look. Then, when you're done making all the tables you need, you have to make a variable called result. Uh, 3 equals MySQL underscore query. There we go, finally. Uh, my, and in your parameters, have SQL 3. So I did this. Uh, I had a table called Game Stats, which had uh, like health, energy, stuff like that, and I had another uh, table called Character Stats, where it had like the power, the defense, the speed of the character. So um, I'm actually just gonna post this all on my website, thenewboston.com. So if you want to check out my code in the tables that I made, you can go to my site, thenewboston.com, and I'm gonna have it all posted there. So instead of just uh, showing you guys me typing in the same thing over and over, it's just going to be a lot easier for you guys just to go grab my code, paste it in, make the tables, and there you go. And if you have any questions at all or if you need any help, just uh, post a thread on topic on thenewboston.com and I will respond to you and I will help you there. So that is how you take the permanent data from your users that you created and make it into different tables that you can be that can be used in the game so study this tutorial go check out my code at the thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time